Fusion Mobile Quality e learning experience on the go. Energy transformation in nature. The diagram here shows that energy moves from the producer to the primary consumer and from the primary consumer to the secondary consumer, from the secondary consumer to tertiary consumers, and finally to decomposers. Energy transformation in nature. Energy loss in the ecosystem. The solar radiation is used by plants during photosynthesis. Some are lost to the earth's surface while some are stored in plant parts, that is stems, leaves, etc., and are not used up. The first law of thermodynamics states that energy can neither be lost nor created, especially as it's converted from one form to another. The second law of thermodynamics states that this law states that no energy transformation is 100% efficient since some are lost in form of heat. Energy loss in the biosphere. As energy flows from producers to primary consumers and from primary consumers to secondary consumers and from secondary consumers to tertiary consumers and etc. They are not all used up at various stages of the trophic levels. About 5 to 20 percent are made use of leaving the rest to the biosphere. Energy flow. 1. Energy is lost as it moves from herbivores to carnivores. 2. Each time one organism is consumed by another, energy is transferred alongside. Examples are nutrient cycle in nature. This includes carbon cycle, water cycle, and oxygen cycle. For the carbon cycle, this involves the circulation of carbon through ecosystems. Four major sources of carbon include 1. Respiration, 2. Burning of organic matter, 3. Decay, and 4. Volcanic eruption. Importance of carbon in nature is that 1. It is used by plants in form of carbon dioxide during photosynthesis. It occurs in allotropic forms like diamond, graphite, and lamp which are precious to man. Carbon oxygen balance Carbon is released into the atmosphere through respiration, burning of organic matter, decay, volcanic eruptions, and pollutions. For the water cycle, this involves evaporation and condensation. After rain, water is seen on the surface of the soil, some of which enter the lakes, streams, rivers, or even high seas and oceans through underground movement. Plants later release their own water during respiration and evaporation. Animals live on water for drinking and digestion of food. This they later release through urination and defecation. In dry seasons, parts of the water evaporates and become heavy in the clouds, condenses and falls back as rain again. The importance of water. 1. Plants and animals make use of it for survival. 2. Water aids in digestion and excretion. 3. Rain helps in purifying a very polluted atmosphere. 4. Water bodies act as sources of food supply to man. Example, fishes, seaweeds, etc. Oxygen cycle. Oxygen is 20% of the gas contained in the atmosphere. The quantity of oxygen utilized during cellular respiration balances up with equal amounts of carbon dioxide used up during photosynthesis. Burning of fossil fuels uses up oxygen. Aquatic organisms are very much affected with such as of dissolved oxygen through pollution, either oil or organic types. In order to check this, a considerable amount of oxygen is added to aid degradation. This is called biochemical oxygen demand, BOD. The decomposers are divided into micro decomposers and macro decomposers. The micro decomposers include all saprophytic organisms such as petrified bacteria, fungi, and protozoa. Two, the macro decomposers. This includes small animals such as insects, rodents, earthworms, and wood lice. The end products of decomposition of organic matter are ammonia, urea, and carbon dioxide. 
The roles of decomposers include one, they make it possible for organic matter, which would have accumulated in the environment, to be recycled through decomposition. Two, plants are able to use up their products for growth in order to produce food for consumption.